Oh, we got some sound. All right, so here's that 16 gigabyte mad little pixel image. I believe it's running the latest motion blue as of April 1st. No, it's not April Fool's joke. Off the bat, my X-pad is working, so thank you for that. I've had some of his other images not work so well on this stuff. So it is in a track mode to get started. So the first thing you typically want to do is go ahead and boot into um, Emulation Station to do your controls. This is a common problem I find with a lot of mad little pixel images. They the controls are all messed up. I think he uses like an arcade stick or something. Okay, so I just plugged in my keyboard. Go to RetroPie Setup, and then Configuration and Tools. Go down to Emulation Station 809, and then say Clear Reset All Inputs. So that'll reset everything um, for you. I'm actually going to do that just because. And then you want to run, you want to reverse cancel. And you want to make sure you reboot here because you can just um, perform reboot. Okay. Okay. Now when it boots back up, it'll be ready to take my controller. All right. So one gamepad detected. And uh, this is when you want to. Uh, Finish your controls. Okay, so now we can see what we got here. We got 31 main games. So Mega Man. No video previews on these. I mean, that's. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, start select does work, which is good. Okay, let's go back here. Dreamcast, none. Family computer disk system, 90 games. With video previews. Sega Master System, 281 games. Sega Mega Drive, 782 games. Neo Geo, 11 games. I wonder what 11 they have. Air Fighters 2, King of Monsters 1 and 2, Metal Slug X only, Bomberman, whatever that is, Puzzle Bubble, Bust and Move, and the Samurai Showdown. Seven hundred ninety one games, MS DOS, nothing. Ports, Cody and uh, uh looks like Pixel. And then RetroPie Setup, Scum DM, I don't think there's anything there. Sega 32X, 33 games, SG-1000, 68 games, Super Nintendo, all 786, TurboGrafx-16, 94, ZX Spectrum, none, Cody, Pixel, back to main. So what you want to do, if you want to go back into a track mode, and also this will set it as the default boot, is we're just going to go over to here. And let's check this out in a track mode. Oh, we're ready. There we go. Okay, so here we are in a track mode. Each system has its own video previews. Okay, cool. And a uh, track mode's pretty standard stuff. You got your file manager, your display utilities. You can change your intro video, 
hook up your Bluetooth audio. You can change from 3.5 audio to HDMI. You can go into a RetroPie setup. You can do Raspberry Pi, show IP address, Wi-Fi, go back in emulation station. This is where you're going to shut down your Pi, reboot, update your track mode to the latest things. RetroArch, you're going to do your, you know, your um, main controls there. There's even a reset a track mode, loading screens as well. Um, all, all kinds of cool stuff. So um, let's do Capcom 1 to start. I mean, usually, you know, all the standard games. So Ghosts and Ghouls, a classic game, many versions of it out. A lot of fun. Okay, select is uh, to enter coins. Oh man, I'm naked. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm ready. Shit, I fell for that twice. Get wrecked, kid. I'm for sure gonna die. I'm at that point where one more hit is out. Okay, so start select. We go back out. We can go back. Let's try Turbo Graphic. Scroll through some games here. Nice smooth scrolling. It's always been a big compliment for Motion Blue is that it's um, very smooth. Like uh, it's got no. It's got really like some some images kind of lag a little bit when you're going through them. Not the case here. Okay, so here we go. Slaughterhouse. Dude's pretty buff, I mean. What the heck is that? Can I jump? How come I can't? Oh, this is good. Add her up. Okay. The Slaughterhouse. We got our Nintendo games on here. All your favorite Nintendo games. Okay. Super Nintendo with video previews. Nice. That's the thing. I mean, if you really wanted to get a lot on this image, you would um you wouldn't have video previews. Because you can fit a lot more without these video previews. But I have to say it's a nice little touch, you know? Like if you wanted more Neo Geo games though, you probably want to uh, get rid of the uh, video previews or get rid of a system. I mean, it's either games, systems, or, or video snaps. Like, that's where you're taking the majority of your space. Look at that. Motocross! Okay. So Genesis. We got your Sonics. Captain America. Captain Planet. Get him. Nice. This game is actually pretty legit. Castlevania, they got all the cool games there. It's like a master system, nice. Some good stuff here. Nice. SG-1000, and then back to Capcom 1. So I guess all the main games are on the Capcom 1.
There are a couple Street Fighters. It's actually there on the front page, but that changes as new images come out. And the image we're going to be doing today is the 16 gigabyte track mode image, which will probably 4.2 motion blue 4.0 plus ROMs, mad little pixel. Uh, you can either do the magnet, which will give you a torrent link, or you can do the mega downloader through mega. I recommend downloading the mega downloader app, which I'll put a link in the description to as well. You're just going to click that and go ahead and download all the files. Watch out for pop-ups on this site. Once you're done that, um, you should have the image here. You can just go ahead and go to properties. I've already, it should come out as in RAR. So you're going to go ahead and click the first RAR file and then unzip or unrar it. And uh, as you can see, the image is 14.8 gigabytes, 15,931,539,456 bytes. So you're going to want to have a, um, a card that, uh, that can handle um, that kind of space. So, for example, this F is a 16 gig Lexar, which is cool. It's got 16 billion bytes, so it would work no problem. 14.9 gigs, 16 uh, billion bytes. So, like a Lexar, a Patriot, uh, a Samsung uh, Plus, or the, um, the SanDisk should work just fine, no issues. Once you have the SD card in, you want to make sure you have the right wire it one. Don't worry about the options here. Just format regular. Finish formatting. You're then going to want to have Win32. Go ahead and run that as administrator. And uh, after you run that as administrator, you're just going to put the image here at the .img file. Make sure you have the right device here. Trust me, double check this because you will erase a hard drive otherwise. And then go ahead and click the right button, and that it shouldn't take long to write. It's a 16 gigabyte um, image. It also depends on the speed of your SD card. Once you're there, you just got to pull this out of your computer and put it in your Pi. All right, so there you have it. I mean, so far it's a really basic image. I really think this image is going to appeal to people who want something clean and they don't want to buy a big. Uh, 32 gigabyte SD card, as well as they don't want to set it up themselves. Like this is a pre-setup with ROMs and the drivers and the emulators already installed. So for those reasons, you know, if you're lazy, this is a good little 32 gig to get jump on with. Um, you saw what games it has. So you know, some I've seen some 32s with better arcade selections, for example. So I think it really comes down to a preference thing. A lot of people like to ask me the question of, well, what's the best 32 gigabyte image out there? Um, I don't necessarily think this is the best. I do think this is way better than the little BBO or whatever that image is I reviewed a couple months back. This one is definitely better than that 32. Um, Dean 32 is pretty cool, though. Um, and then there's some other 32s out there as well. And then also, when you're talking 32, it's pretty easy to build your own 32. You know, it's not that big of a, you know, as you saw, there's like, I don't know, maybe close to a couple thousand games on here. Actually, no, more than that. Yeah, close to probably 5,000. but Still, like the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo, those ROMs are really small. So, um, you know, it's not that hard to make your own at this rate. But I definitely give it a thumbs up. It's good work. It's good stuff. Thank you, MLP, for making this. And um, we'll see you guys on the next one. I got some other images I'll be reviewing. Uh, but thumbs up on this. If you like this video, if you like what I do, subscribe to the channel. Give it a little like. And we'll see you guys on the next one.